Today was another big day for India's space program. The Indian Space Research Organization successfully launched the latest Earth observation satellite EOS-08 on board the small satellite launch vehicle. Hi, I'm Soumya Pillai and welcome to The Print. At 8.50 a.m. today, ISRO commenced the launch of the third developmental flight for SSLV. Now, why is this important? Being an Earth Observatory mission, the payloads on board the launcher are set to provide critical data and analysis on environmental monitoring, disaster management, flood detection and ocean surface analysis. This mission is extremely significant because it is also the third and the final developmental flight of SSLV, which will complete the SSLV developmental project. In a statement issued after the launch on Friday, the space agency said that EOS-08 was placed precisely into orbit and with the technology transfer, the Indian space industry and NSIL will now produce SSLV for commercial missions. The small satellite launch vehicle by ISRO is designed to meet the growing demands of the Indian space industry for launching small satellites, offering users a quick and cost-effective option. Before I tell you about the launch vehicle itself, and its future possibilities, let me first tell you the significance of the current mission. The EOS-08 mission is carrying three state-of-the-art payloads. The first is an electro-optical infrared, which is the EOIR payload. The second is the Global Navigation Satellite System Reflectometry, or the GNSSR payload. And the third is the SIC UV dosimeter. The EOIR payload is designed to capture images in the mid and long wave IR bands, both during day and at night. This will help in satellite based surveillance, disaster and environmental monitoring, fire detection, and industrial and power plant disaster monitoring. The GNSSR payload demonstrates the capability of using remote sensing to help analyze ocean surface wind, soil moisture and flood detection. The third payload, the SIC UV dosimeter, will be crucial in monitoring UV irradiance for the upcoming Gaganyaan mission, which is India's first human spaceflight. In a statement issued earlier this month, ISRO said that EOS-08 mission is set to operate in a low Earth orbit at an altitude of 475 kilometers. It also incorporates several technological advancements, including an integrated avionics system known as the Communication Baseband Storage and Positioning Package. This combines multiple functions into a single efficient unit capable of supporting up to 400 GB of storage data. The EOS-08, which has a planned mission life of one year, also features some indigenously developed components, including solar cell fabrication processes and a nanostar sensor for microsat applications. So all in all, this mission holds promise for a wide range of applications that will not only benefit the country, but will also promote scientific research. Now coming to the launch vehicle. The SSLV is ISRO's compact three-stage launch vehicle requiring only three to four days to assemble. For a polar satellite launch vehicle or the PSLV, the assembly time is three to four months. With its quick turnaround time and minimal infrastructure requirement, ISRO aims to make it a viable option for commercial satellite operators and research institutions to launch their satellites on demand. By making this a cost-effective and reliable option, the space agency is also aiming to attract international clients to cement India's position in the global space market. 
This was all from me. Thank you for tuning into the print. You were with Somya Pillai.